Welcome to tonight's Landscape, Landscape Podcast. We are talking, talking photography. We are showing, showing pictures. Hi, good evening, guys. Welcome to another Landscape Lenscast uh, here, everyone. And uh, Darren's here, and Steve's here, Louise, uh, Doug, and, of course, Alistair is here, which is our newest member of the team. <laughs> so six of us in total. Uh, what we're going to be doing tonight is just mainly tune about the fact, talking about photography and photography, and maybe we'll talk about some photography as well. Also, of course, we'll be showing some images, and this theme is local. So we're going to keep everything local um for what we've been shooting so first of before we start just going to go over over everyone and see what they've been up to has anyone been up to anything decent because i don't want to start asking everyone individually and think that paul no i've only just been doing something in the garden or something you know no, so I've someone just up, say what, what you've been up to what you've I've been up been, to i've just been updating the website and that's it that's all i've been up to for the last two weeks when our nights must just fly by in your house. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> um, I don't get home till 10 o'clock at night, so that's it. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're, you're a worker, all right, because I remember you said that. And has anyone, anything that's would there been anything? I mean, I know Alistair's got his video out. Um, yep, yeah, put a video up yesterday. I was uh, really impressed when we had the, the conversation with uh, Peter, Peter's, was it? Oh, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Tom, Tom Peters. Peters. Tom, Tom Peters, Peters yeah. Peters. Good. I wasn't even there. It's it, it's always well, the same. See, see the, the Billy Conley did a sketch about people with the first first name, surname type things. You never get <laughs> always get mixed up now when people have got two <laughs> names like that. I do apologize, Tom. I do apologize. But I was so inspired. I, it got me off my butt and outside taking photographs in the woodlands. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I had to edit like mad. There was 45 minutes of footage there. And that's edited it down. Got it. I was trying to go for 15. I got 16 minutes. Uh, I could have got it down to 15 if it had edited out the bit about you, Paul. But I can't. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> that was so endearing. Thank you. Really it. It. It's the first time someone's mentioned me in a video, I think. There you, go. Sure. there you go. There you go. That's, that's my moment. That, that'll be five pounds, please. It's <laughs> my five minutes of fame, not fifteen minutes of fame. As Andy Warhol I, said. I mentioned that this lens cast, whatever it is, that we we change the name every week. I mentioned that in my video. I, I mentioned the lens. Oh yeah, cast yeah, yeah, as well. yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. Yeah. You did. Yeah. I, 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 I mentioned, I mentioned Paul. it as well. I mentioned, mentioned Paul individually. Yeah, thank you. He mentioned me as well. Yeah. <laughs> the big question is, Alistair, we mentioning the the main man himself. Do you do any funny walks in the woodland? <laughs> <laughs> oh Billy. Yeah. Oh Billy's walks, yeah. Billy. Yeah. Oh the, that moment. Oh God, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I, that, that that would actually be quite an interesting one to do. Do you I was thinking uh who was I talking about that that doesn't matter, but yeah, I was thinking about like how to spice up my my videos. I could do a Billy Conley running naked through the woods. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah, that's uh... Yeah. For you, maybe. <laughs> yeah. You could do a bit of naturism, you know. With the just... dog chasing yeah. you as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how I got on that bit. Where are you going to put your lens cap? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, but one of the things in, when it comes to William photography, everyone's talked about nature and being at one, etc. But no one's taking their clothes off and na being a naturist. <laughs> do it, man. Just somebody create a, a video and we'll just blur out the little bits. It's good to see the little bits there. Well, there's a, there's a certain vlogger that's got a bit close to that. Is Sorry? Part, Who's that? There's a certain vlogger that's got close oh, to that. Uh, He's part of the F7.1 group. Oh, really? Oh, what, oh. what I suggest you do is, mind you, it might be on before this one, but watch the 7.1 uh, podcast. Nice plug. It might just get mentioned. Like so. <laughs> because he doesn't know this, but the image he sent us on the chat we're going to use as the, as the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, great. Right. And of course... Never, ever to put something in the chat for you lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so um, that's the only thing that's been up to. We've got Alistair's video. Um, God, I'm going to call Doug out. Doug, what have you been up to? I don't know. Let's see. Last week, I Books. went up a Lucklow Hill. 
came up up near St Andrews, uh, which was a lovely walk. Got a few pictures. Um, nice woodland one with some snowdrops, which uh, will be oh yes, hopefully in the book. There's there is an issue with this walk, and I don't know whether to include it or not because there's a quarry at the side of the hill, and we got off the walk and we we're talking to some women in the car park. They want to expand the quarry and remove this entire hill. Oh, really? Which, yeah, really. It's crazy. So, for a hill. I've joined, I've joined the Save Lucklaw Hill Facebook group. Yeah, I'd save it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. good on you. That's crazy. I'd just take the whole hill away, for God's sake. This yeah. decor, right? But these days I might be over with. Well, that's um, the reason anyway. I go to, to make sure I don't have to write any more than I have to write. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good point. Yeah, that's weird. Um, just on your books, how long does it take to actually write a book? About a year, usually. This one, this one's taken longer. My very first one was in West Lothian, where I lived, so that actually only took four months. Right. But, yeah, um, yeah the, the, the one I did last two rounds was Kintyre. was probably about eight months overall. Okay. Uh, the one in the camps is for two years. The one I'm doing in Fife, and Fife is just kind of over the river from here. That's taken, oh. so far, about 14 months. Well, it's it's, it's a huge, job get out, you know. It is yeah. it is a huge county though. That's the thing. Fife, it's, it, it, it could take over an hour for me to drive from I'm at the the west end of Fife to St Andrews in the east end. It could take over yeah. an hour to do that. Yeah, it's, it's a long it's, it's, it's it's here. Do you do you yeah. concentrate on one book at a time as well? Yes, very you, much yeah. so. Too too much. Yeah. So I mean, can you tell um, more than one single the, um, it's easier to focus on on the one. Yeah, just for people watching the because you've mentioned your books have touched on it so long, but have not really. Ask people where they can get them, except well, told people we can get them. Where, where do you? I mean, I, I presume they're on Amazon because I think I did see them on Amazon. They are on Amazon, yes. I yeah, mean, you get them basically any bookshops you get them in Watersons, you get them uh, even what's the name? Mountain Warehouse. Sorry, what's the name of the books? I was gonna say, I have, I have here, some handy ones here. That Ching. I can show you. <laughs> Ching, there's Kintyre. Yeah, nice. Is that a link in the description below? Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm put, yeah, I'll do it now because I don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Nice. <laughs> West Lovian, yeah. 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 And when, when you do cool. these walks, Doug, do you have to wear appropriate footwear? Oh, I'll wear footwear. <laughs> <laughs> That's such an in joke, though, isn't it? Would it, <laughs> would, would it, would it, would it be? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that the Gavin Hardcastle kind of stuff? Oh, well, yeah. I'll oh, it catches up. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got a, new, toes. got a new thing as well, and it's not like the Lego camera from last time. <laughs> oh, oh he's got done with his. Oh, look. I've got, I've got a Z8. He just, he oh, just oh, took oh. that off you. Oh, <laughs> he took that off you. <laughs> no, I could move because I've ever been cool. lying on my table here. There's, my, there's mine. Yeah. Have you found, though, Doug, with them? The memory cards are a bit weird, aren't they? <laughs> well, the memory cards are pushes you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, I mean... The, I don't know, but uh, I think we were going to start a trend here, guys, with this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got to Julian Baird. It was him that, re that was reviewing That's it. What, yeah, I was saying that to you guys. Yeah. What, what was he doing? Like, just a little joke at the end of his podcast? Or no, I think it was the whole... Over? Was it not the whole... That was the whole video. Was the whole video was about the camera, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to see it. I've not seen it, I think. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, it's now six minutes past eight, and that's cut because no one needs to know that time because when they're watching it, doesn't make any difference. Uh, see, so, seeing, as, seeing as we're not actually recording this book uh -huh. a little a bit, I actually only just noticed Steve Stain's got exactly the same colour scheme as me behind this is a little bit more subtle. Yeah, these guys will be uh, swapping, <laughs> swapping swatches for curtains next week. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to get the right colours blending. Don't yep, yeah, get the lampshades and maybe you like that lampshade. Candle lights again. <laughs> I got um, you just need rock sets. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't include um, it. <laughs> it was Roxanne, by the way. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Roxanne. I, I, am, I am a I era, absolutely love that. You song. have to keep that bit in now. <laughs> yeah. Alice is yeah. You've got to keep that in. It reminds me of 48 hours with Eddie Murphy. Uh Roxanne. I was uh, yeah. I was a huge Eddie Murphy fan back in the 80s. <laughs> it's okay, Duke. Um, it's so... just me singing. <laughs> Shut up. Your dog going mad. <laughs> Don't do that either. So, um, what we'll do is have a look at the images. What I'm going to do is just check out the old bamboo, if that makes sense. Um, no, where are we it going? Doesn't. 
What's it doesn't make sense. I know. I just made that up. I've got to go to Google Translate again. I've yeah. got to go and quiet. And oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. And. So, uh, good evening. Thanks for tuning in to Clickcast. What the? <laughs> That's done my head in. What the what happened there? Went, went, went back in time. That was a younger Louis. No, I know. that's it, man. Woo-hoo. I was saying, he's had two counts. I don't, don't give any more. <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. Um, that was not supposed to happen whatsoever. But anyway, I'm just getting back to the old um, bamboos, I say. It's time for that part of the show on Landscape Lens Cast Podcast. Where we all take a look at the images for this week from present and past. Yeah. Bloody wish so, I was vodka. Now. Yeah, crikey. <laughs> Cheese will just make everyone sober again. No, it makes you want to drink more. Yeah, you know so what we're going to do is get Louise, some images on the screen, guys. Louise was asking a question. I was. Things. Oh, yeah. Go ahead right, and so ask, because I'll take my well to faff about here. Paul was very, very excited. You faff. Keep moving every now and then, though. That sounds I'm cool. four yeah. hours away from being monetized on YouTube. Really? What? Wow. What does that mean? You eat four hours, you eat four hours of people watching the monetized. Right, so my husband's adverts. watching in the lounge now. Oh, really? <laughs> Three, <laughs> Three oh, hours cool. and ten minutes. I'll put you on loop when I'm finished here. You know, I, I, what does I, other than getting like twenty p a year? What does it mean? <laughs> it means you get the ad revenue. Yeah. S- Steve knows a bit more than this about than me, but yeah, I tend yep. to just put one advert in the middle. So you get the adverts at the beginning and the end. You, you can choose what you want to do in the middle. Oh, oh, you know what? I didn't know you could choose what you could do in the middle. I just press the button. Did you? Go, I just left it yeah. to one advert. Yeah, you can choose, but you'll you'll get. When I first got uh, monetized, it, I got about twenty pound a month. Really? Now I, I get about twenty pound a week, believe it or not. Wow. So it's not it's really? not a kick. In, you know, it's all right. Pays your petrol. Yeah. How, how many members you may get to get monetized? Like it's, over two thousand dollars. It's not just members. It, it's it's hours. Yeah, it's, it's what hours. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and it's watch hours in 365 right. days. So days, yeah. it is uh, 1,000 right. people and 3,000 hours. Yeah. 365 yeah. days. Yeah. yeah, I'll forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, anyway, back down to earth for Paul. Uh, so we're going to go to everyone's media. We're going to go for Darren first, because since Darren, we've got a couple of images to show for Darren, but you've never seen. Mm. Should we show them? Ah. I don't know which yeah. one he's at. He, he missed out before, didn't he? He did, yeah, a couple of yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's um, have a look. So I'm going to show this one was uh, way back when Darren was last on. He was mentioning about the shell, uh, oh, the right. Mary yeah. shell. Yeah. So we'll get this up. Come on. There we go. Oh, there you go, there you go Louise. Yeah. Oh. So Darren just there. Uh, that shocked you a bit, that, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Ne- oh. I like that. Yeah, it's like nice. It's I mean, one of the better ones color. I've seen. Really, definitely. But it's just the stones at the back of it. I wasn't too sure whether it makes the image or doesn't. Because mm-hmm. I've right. been here quite a few times. I've got it nice and minimalist just with the shell. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But obviously a week before we arrived there, them stones suddenly arrived. So we had one, we had, well, a couple of people on the workshop saying they, these weren't oh, here right. last weekend. So I thought so, these stones weren't, weren't there before. Is that right? We were saying that they just, yeah. they, they, these stones yeah. weren't there before. So they're there yeah. just to protect the thing. Or... They're there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Apparently they're there to protect the shell because the like video what? will be out in two or three weeks' time. Because under yeah. the shell now you can see all the supports and everything holding the shell up. So as mm-hmm. the waves have been crashing, it must have been getting well, ah. they, moving all the sand and that away from the base of the shell. Ah. Mm. I mean, I. I mean, it tells a story as well, doesn't it? Because it's shown you can pretty much what why they're there. We know they're there in the picture because to protect the Mary Shell. But yeah, you're yeah. right. It, 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 I don't know if it adds to the composition or not, but I think it's a beautiful shot anyway. If you yeah, ever told it, me it, yeah. in this shot, it it's it works really well. But yeah, it's, if you yeah, haven't got that, it could be. There's there's something on the right hand side. 
if you look to the first, not on this image, but on the video, what comes out, mm -hmm. I show the right hand side, there's a big stanchion on the right hand side now. Because these all rocks right. go all the way down the coastline now. And they never did. Really? And there's, there's big steel stanchions up all the way down, big steel poles. So, yes, yeah, yeah. if you're shooting this from side on, it's very hard now. These are composition, almost... Yeah, there's a composition where you can get rid of the post behind the shell and yeah. you get a slight bit of separation. But, yes, yeah, it's, it's still like a great place got... to go see. But... I like how you've got the, uh, the horizon straight and the, the, the rocks look straight on as well. You know, they don't like, you know, you usually get that thing where you try to go for the horizon. Uh, you always go for the horizon to be straight. Yeah, it's and then sometimes it can go off a bit with the rocks, but they've they're they're pretty much in line when tune with it. It doesn't yeah. look that well, bad. Really, nothing's really been good. done with the rocks at all. Yeah, but good. this was only a I think it was seven and a half metre tide. Okay. If you get a nine and a half metre tide there, where just the top of the shell's sticking out, then rocks will disappear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. So you can always uh, you know go, go so, for a big long exposure yeah, shot. Yeah, you'll, the... you'll get the best of both. Yeah. I don't Delicious. think I've seen a shot on social media with that in the background. No. No, wait a minute. I did see, um, as one of the guys you saw on your podcast, uh, Darren, uh, I was watching a video you done. I gather you were all together that day. Um, yes, we were, yeah. And is he it, shot it like that as well. And that's it, the um, first time I've seen the rocks. Yeah, Keswick Climber. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. he came down and met us down there, yeah. Yeah. Quite enjoyed the video. It was, it was really good as well. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice shot, cracking. Well, it's the sky, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, oh, that, almost, we had the best, we had the, one of the best days ever for a workshop because, yeah, we had the moody skies in the morning over at Fleetwood Rex. Mm. Then we went to the cafe in the afternoon, side of the shell, and then we got this sunset, which we were hoping for because it were coincidentally high tide and sunset at the same time. So, yeah, it yeah, just yeah, worked a treat. Yeah, I love it. And especially the, the top, they're darker at the top with the change of sky, the, the you know, yeah, the it's... light, etc. Really yeah, nice. I've got, got a lovely time lapse of it as well. Yeah, we'll go to the next yeah. one. Um, so, yeah, I love this one. Mm. Very sinister looking. It's very yeah, like, kinda, these... like a big goblin kind of creature kind of thing. Yeah, hence, I called it the goblin's lair. Ah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, like this, this is, a, I think it's an old fallen oak. Mm -hmm. And this is in the woodland. It's, it's actually called Ogden Water Nature, Nature Reserve. Um, if the traffic really? lights are green, I can be there in three minutes. So that's, that's, how, a... that's how local it is to me. How long does it normally take you to get there without the traffic lights going green? Five minutes. Oh, <laughs> 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 Let's just see if you can get there on a, two shakes of alarm yeah, still, as we say. It's literally <laughs> two mile and a half, two miles away. That's it. Yeah. And I spotted shot. this. This is literally about 15, 20 foot off one of the footpaths walking around. Uh -huh. And what initially drove me to it was a touch of green. I just saw yeah. a bit of green out of the corner of my eye. I went to investigate, and this just blew me away. Yeah, it does. And this is just powerful, isn't it? It's yeah, this is it's, it is part of a big oak tree, is this that's fallen. But just yeah. this part with the... It took me a while, but... That's one of the best compositions I've had from this little area, especially with the fog that day. Yeah, it's so looking at the top of the tree. It's you know, it's kind of white, looks like a, a silver birch tree that's kind of, you know, like an older yes, silver birch tree. It's weird. I can't, I couldn't tell what it was to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it, when they're mossy like that, they kind of like oaks. Oaks are gnarly mainly, aren't they? But if yeah. you look at the top of the screen, which is pretty much up that way there. Yeah, it's, it's a bit like silver. The, um, yeah, I mean, normally birch trees only last for about ninety to hundred years in the fall. Uh, yeah. so I love that shot. It's a cracking shot. Yeah, this is it is it is quite large, is this? Yeah. I mean, what was like the the, the full kind of oh the the full uh, tree itself was it kind of quite far across the woodland floor or? Yes, it was. Yeah. Uh, so so you zoomed in I about think what? I've, I've vlogged this. Oh, this must be two two years ago, something like that. The, okay. the tree itself must be 30, 40 foot tall. Oof. Yeah, and it's just and everything's just grown around it. So yeah, when I when I came across this, it must have been down a while. Yeah, it, I look good in print that that shot as well, and I feel like a crop. It's like the crop you've got is a four by five, I guess, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah, and this actually is the print I've got this this size. Nice. And it's yeah, it's, it's printed on a nice um, 
it's the natural texture, not the bright white texture, but just the natural textured one. Natural texture, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just lovely. brings all the texture out in the woodland. It's yeah, it's it's lovely. Yeah, I like that one. And I'm actually um, going back here tomorrow morning. You're lucky. So you guys have got great woodlands down there, but don't you? I mean, Edinburgh's you're not far away for a good woodland, of course, but about an hour's drive maybe. Um, but yeah, you have to really go across that bridge where Alistair is in Fife to find some great woodlands. Yeah. There the are thing, some decent ones in Bob. The thing Bobbins. with this, with it being local, you've got to well and truly get off the beaten track. Yeah, definitely. There's pathways all around Ogden Water, it, and 90% of people just walk around the reservoir. That is it. Yeah. Excuse me. And that, they don't go anywhere else. But getting off yes. the track, there's some great specimens. And I yeah. bet I've only explored. Maybe a quarter of it. Anything with water around that, you usually get a lot of mossy kind yeah. of trees lying about, and I can certainly see that there. That's a really good shot. Yeah. Guys, anybody want to put their two pence morphing into this one? For me, it's... Um, I can remember seeing this when you first put it up on Facebook, and it's one of them images where you're scrolling along, and this stops you. Mm -hmm. really yeah, exactly. just stops yeah, you. Would. And you... It, and just... You can tell you've spent some time actually getting this composition correct, you know, and it, and it works so well. But it's it's just them, that little bit of light. I'm not sure if it's it's not two trees, is it? Is no, it it's, one tree it's just one tree. One tree, yeah. One tree, yeah. Yeah. Because you don't normally get like because it's it's got to be a silver birch, but you don't normally get them like gnarly like that, do you? You don't. It's a no. super shot. Yeah. I think I actually think it's one of your best woodland shots you've ever I've well, ever seen. It looks like the top of a, a birch tree. Yeah, the top you're looking and, at because at the bottom would be quite straight. When they become diseased, they go like that. Trust me. Yeah, that's right. They go back in the garden. All right. So all right. And, and of course, when it becomes diseased, it's going to attract much more of the the moss, etc. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's. So normally at the bottom of the birch tree, if it's dark at the bottom of a birch tree, the foot of it, and it's uh, that's when you know they're older ones. Yeah, at the left hand yeah. side, there's probably about another ten foot of that tree. Mm. All right. Okay. Great. Yeah. <laughs> so it is, yeah, yeah, it is quite a large specimen, is this? Yeah, lovely. Nice, not not, not bad as well, staying about five minutes or three minutes if you're going through, getting through the traffic yeah. quite quickly. <laughs> That's a the lovely shot, Steve. The main thing uh -huh. is, is to get there early because the car park just gets rammed. Yeah, yeah. But when you get it's off like the beaten, here, we, we yeah, are as well. When you get off the beaten path, I mean, this, when I went to this day, the car park were rammed, but I saw no one in this area. Good. Anyway, good. Yeah, it's great. It's my biggest nightmare is dog walkers and things like that. So you have to really get up early in the morning to beat them, uh, these guys. And you've yeah. not seen there's anything wrong with dog walkers, but just. I was going to say, you, you've, just... got to think, you've got to think about dog walkers, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I have, but not so much as you, Alistair, because you've got to a dog. <laughs> uh, <I'll> be... <laughs> You're an exception. Uh, so is Nigel Danson, yeah. and so is, of course, yeah. Chris Bowie. Yeah. Well, With it being but, local, what... everyone calls this place as a place for kids where they can go just run riot. Go on ah. down the path with the bikes and stuff, and, mm. but get off the path. It's just there's there's even waterfalls further up that no one goes to. What? I've, so jealous. I've got them so in jealous. winter before now with icicles. That's so that's great, especially only so like only a couple of minutes away. That's brilliant. Yeah. Waterfalls, yeah. etc. Great place if you get a new camera and lens. Want to try it somewhere quick? Yep. Right. Oh yeah, definitely. Excellent. We'll go to the next one. That's a cracking shot. Love it. And we will. And this is in the same place. Mm. Exactly the same place, but just on one of the paths going around the bottom of the reservoir. On the left-hand side, just over the fence, on the, the little fence on the left-hand side there, the bushes, Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. is where I was taking that shot on Sunday. What you saw. Oh, yeah. All right. Leading onto the reservoir itself. Yeah, I love the wall. Just kind of leading you out there, receding into the mist. It's mm. nice. Well, I've I've taken the shot two or three times, but this is the only time I've actually got it in thick fog. Yeah, there's also sees about the rustic point. That's that is rustic, you know. It's like real country kind of look into the walls that are on level, the 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 gate, the swinging gate there. Yeah, it's really nice. I like it. The only thing I don't like about it, you might just be able to see it, is a bench on the right hand side. Mm, right hand. Side. Oh yeah, yeah. Just oh, yeah. where the post is. I can it, just the see tree. the tree. Yeah. 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 Yeah, just up a bit in the right. Yep. Yeah, I have managed to separate as many trees as I can and that left-hand gate post. Mm. But I tried this shot 
on yeah. Sunday, it yeah. doesn't work without leaves on the trees. Yeah. Um, just right. because the canopy on the left hand side yeah. it brings in too much of the sky. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. yeah, well sure. Yeah. It's, it's uh, like the um you know, this is the mossies, the texture of the, the actual image looking at you can just keep yeah. looking staring at it for ages. It's really nice. Oh yeah, to the real bright green and the moss smack back. Yeah, exactly. Picture, yeah. You know? yeah. And you've got the dark you've got the two contrasts there as well, the dark moss as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the right hand side. It was just the the light was just starting to come through on the left hand side. And it just suddenly lit everything up. Yeah, yeah. But this image had to, I think it wouldn't be exposed by maybe two or three sops mm. just to try and keep that highlight on the left-hand side. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Is that like a wide lens you're using there? This was at about 50 mil. Really? Mm. Yeah, well, quite far back with this. So I wanted to keep the sky out as much as possible. Yeah, exactly. I mean, because you've got like the uh, frame in the left-hand side there. To yeah, yeah. Over. yeah. That's really nice. Yeah, anything wider than probably 35 mil, you bring in the sky in there. <clears throat> Beautifully balanced shot. Well done. I uh, really, really like that one. So, nice competition. Good competition to keep up with, guys. Let's see who's got someone next. Uh, we'll come up with that. Oh, oh, I have to say, oh, yeah. It's that image. It's spectacular. <laughs> yeah. Did you feature out on your video while stuff? I think I think it may have done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 so, get, oh, it's a stunning yep. shot. And, uh, Thanks, Stephen, for uh, giving us that uh, YouTube video as well for to look at. But yeah, yeah, tell us more about this one. Um, look at like in this sort of like uh, nuclear kind of waste on the tree. So it looks like this glowing away there. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. It, well, that area is um, it's we've we've actually in the middle of the woodland, mm. and again, this woodland is five minutes away from me. No traffic lights, and um, walk to the middle of the wood. And there's a nice open area, so it lets all the light in. Mm. Um, but round it, you've still got these where all the moss and all the dark areas are. But because the light can penetrate it, it was just making this moss all around me just pop, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. And I'd, this just drew me <clears throat> to this because of the, that branch in the background, and it's just nicely framed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And it was one of them shots. You, I'm not sure if it works or not, and. Um, I don't like. I don't normally like the ollie in the scene because a lot of ollie trees, as you can see on that. Yeah, I don't like ollie spot. trees. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't yeah. like them in an image. But they seem to, yeah. as a backdrop, they seem to work quite well. And because that mm -hmm. ollie bit, ollie bush on the in the foreground is just a small one or smaller ones, I think it just sort of mm -hmm. works a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I, I like I, it. I, I like it because it's nicely framed with that other one on the right yeah, hand well, side. Yeah. It's just it's the frame that drew me to the yeah. the actual mm -hmm. composition, and then it would just try to work that really. But it actually it worked out. It was it was framing that root of that tree in the background, and mm -hmm. that bit of light that were coming through, and it was obviously a bit of um, we've got a bit of atmosphere as well. So mm -hmm. it was a little bit of everything, and it was shot at about I don't know 150 200 mil again to enhance that that atmosphere um and yeah it was just just the framing of the that tree really that i, I to be honest with you, I, when i got back i didn't think it was going to work till i started to edit it and it was one of them that soon as you start working mm -hmm. with it you know it's it's worth spending a little bit more yeah. time on do you it. often find that lower woodland images the what sorry do you often find that with woodland that you don't yeah. know really how it's going to work until you start to it's, edit it's funny because the ones the ones you think are going to work you probably struggle with more yeah and it's the other ones that seem to so you, you sort of know as soon as you start processing the image i think mm -hmm. that you know it's gonna it's it's worth investing a little bit more time in it yeah um, as tom peter said when you had him on the channel uh, not long ago he said that sometimes in, in his mind he has uh how he wants to post process the image when yeah. he looks at it yeah uh, some people well, have I, 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 I would i'm almost 99% of the time when I'm taking a shot, I'm already processing the image in my mind. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what you said. Yeah. 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 And it, it, it's, and I think it's a skill you have to learn over time. And, it, and it's when you really, when you get a little bit more confident with your processing, really, mm -hmm. that, you know, right, I can work with this image, you know, you know, I can work with that light. I can make it feel how you want it to feel mm. and how it was on that morning and, uh, you know because sometimes a lot of the shots you take they're just you don't get that feeling no. from them 
no. but yeah when mm -hmm. you start editing it and start processing it and putting your little sort of take on it it just mm -hmm. seems to come together and work yeah the way but the I, light I love your post processing so the way the light here is kissing the tops of those branches is just yeah, super... yeah. But yeah it, it was literally as all 360 around me all the moss around me all that moss was fluorescent so all that light mm. was it it was it would light up all the way around it was mm. just choosing the the, the mm. area to shoot really mm. um mm. And that just seemed to work probably the best. Certainly on that morning, I think mm -hmm. it would probably be the better. What sort of time of day was it, Steve? Sorry? What sort of time of day was it? This would be early. I'm always early morning. Right. Yeah. I'll get there for sunrise. I'll be there yeah. tomorrow morning, actually. That's where I'm going tomorrow morning. Right. Me and Martin are meeting and we're going there. Sure. Um, and I'll probably end up in the same place as well. I always tend to go walk around and end up in the same place. But um, I always go early morning, try and capture the the atmosphere. Do you tend to get the conditions, the same conditions every morning you go out? Not every morning, but every time you go out there in the morning, that is. Well, I'll, I'll try and I'll try and plan for the condition. The conditions course, are tomorrow yeah. are supposed to be similar to what they are when I shot this, actually, which is mist, not yes. like a um, not a full blown. So I don't know about you, but sometimes you can, <laughs> we, as photographers, we mind, but we can have too much fog, and that fog can be. Mm -hmm. It's more grey, and you need the yeah. light to come through the fog. Yeah. yeah. To mm. really, and that's what that were like. It was actually, I think the day before that, I shot at the golf course, which was just down the road, and that morning was just phenomenal. But the reason why I didn't go to to this woodland, it is, is because it was just on an hill, and the fog were low lying, so there weren't no fog there at all, because that's mm. where I ended up first. So I just drove down the road, and ended up shooting on the golf course, and had a fabulous morning. So. Yeah, it's cracking. I did see that. For sure, I remember you. You post a few images. I'll put a few images up for that. Yeah, I hope you paid your membership. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah. what, what I did do. Your handicap. Um, in my defence, <laughs> um, I have actually emailed them if they wanted a print, mm. um, with no response. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I thought, you know, if the, if as a kind gesture, but it, it is um, it is access. To the golf course because they're seeing dog walkers on there. That's why yeah. I went on to guys. Yeah, but they get everywhere. Yeah, yeah, they get everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely one. Um, yeah, actually, I've got one of the one of my favourite images from there was actually a a dog walker was walking in a similar scene like this, coming through the middle, and I've got him silhouetted, mm -hmm. so I could see it happening. So I've got a one of my favourites from that day actually. So, mm, okay. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's uh, the post processing. Uh, you're what you do in your woodland is second to none. It's really good. I really do like your style. Really yeah. do. Uh, I kind of think um, I need to strive to be more like that. I think when it comes to my, I'm bad for my post processing. I'm, I'm not good. I'm not great, but I'm not exactly kind of, you know, adventurous enough, and I need to push that a little bit. Paul, have you just so invented then. a new verb to Steve Stein? Steve Stain. Yeah. It's been know. stained. <laughs> well, that, that's his boxes. <laughs> like Careful that. how you say that shit. That, say that. <laughs> that's it. Tomorrow night, Steve, you're going to get it. You've been stained. Yeah. So, well, that's it. You've just, that's a sound bite, isn't it? That's it. I, that's going to be gonna, used. I've got a saying where, would you like a stain on your wall? But that's for another day. <laughs> Deal. Deal. Look at Paul's face. That's the best moment. Oh, man. So we have got Gary Goffett. We've got Steve Stainett. What else have we got? I'm sure, I think, is it Louise comes up with these ones? Be shown it. Sorry? Yeah. Be shown it. Shown it. Yeah. Shown yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. We have to show it soon, guys. Remember that? We'll get her back on the show, maybe. In the next next round of podcast, in the next season two, over. Great. Um, I love that one. Um, let's go to the next one. Which got my glasses on. Because uh. I, I can't actually remember what I've, I've put up to answer it. The next one's oh, a golf course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 you double you. That's a classic. A, a cracker. Love it. Absolutely. Talk us through um, it. Yeah, I, I took me really high tripod that day. <laughs> <laughs> <With Ben Rowe. laughs> no, uh, obviously it's um, it's a uh, um, a drone shot. What, what I actually did was I was on. I, I've gone through the edge of the golf course, 
so I've, I've trespassed. <laughs> um, but I'm right on the edge and I didn't want to walk any further. So what I actually did was get the drone up. Mm -hmm. And then I've seen these scenes. I'm thinking, oh, I've got to go walk over there. And mm. then I've seen this dog walker. So I'm thinking, oh, we've got access. We've got public access to it. And um, so I headed towards this this area of low-lying fog. And like I say, I had a fantastic morning there. Oh, yeah. But this is actually up on my wall in my living room now. This yeah. Morning. I was going to say, if it's yeah. in print, that's yeah. cracking. Yeah. I just... Um... Yeah, it's just looking at the trees. I can't keep my my eyes off the trees in the centre of the image. Yeah, it's the, the delicacy it's, of the, the the fineness and details. Amazing. Yeah, they're very sharp. Yet the fog's yeah. still there. It's fantastic. Well, being a golfer, I'm just trying to find the tee off. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, um, put it this way. It's worth buying a membership just to even just get that picture. <laughs> there we go. Well, well, that? To be honest with you, I, I would as long as you've got access to them and and I'll, yeah. This was in the morning, but you wouldn't see a golf from there because it was full of ice and and that. So the the one and it was so wet as well. So we're walking around the pathway. We we keep I'm keeping off the greens and things like that. Yeah. And, um, but I, you know, if you've got access to a golf course, I would go there and shoot it because it, if you imagine all these trees have been planted in position, um, you in know, a separation, and they're so photogenic because they're all yeah. in lines and you know the, it's it's been. Mm -hmm. sort of plan for the golf course yeah. obviously but yeah um it's they're so good to photograph oh, we've actually got an old abandoned golf course which is close to um to both of these shots mm -hmm. and um actually it sits in between them and again i'll shoot on that because it's abandoned but it's starting to overgrow too much really gets a little bit messy now but obviously yeah. you get these little groups of trees which are superb to shoot yeah so um but that's that's what I added. I added there just because the weather was fantastic in that location. Oh yeah. So it's, again, it's really knowing your local area. Yeah. There. Mentioning yeah. golf courses, the, the one I'm a member at has a viaduct running through it. Okay. And the amount of times I've gone there early onto the viaduct with the drone to try and get the mist and the fog when it's predicted, and it only ever happens when you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> it never happens when it says it's going to do. What's that thing in the right-hand side of the image? And it's, I, th um... I think it's just a broken yeah. um, stump of a tree. You have to yeah. be looking yeah. at that. It looks like a fallen okay. tree. Yeah. To be honest, I, I nearly guy. removed that. I, I weren't yeah. sure whether to remove it or not. To be honest, I thought it was a, a bag of clubs with me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's left it on the. Uh, yeah. the well, next time, the... next time yeah. Steve goes, he's got a caddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got a you know what? As, if it's worthwhile uh, going around these uh, golf courses and getting images like that, yeah, you're right. It's um, I like the idea obviously, that you mentioned. Obviously, a, yeah, I mean a drone shot. You don't even have to go on the course, do you? So yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. What I like about what I like about this as well, that like, no one's picked up on yet. The bottom left hand side. Yeah, I thought. Oh, yeah, yeah I goes to the there. middle, but look at the bottom left hand yeah, side. Nice tree there. The, you've got that tree coming back in to bring you back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Like the contrast of the actual uh, the bark of the tree, the, the branches, yeah, yeah. etc. Yeah, yeah. Also, it's, I love the tones as well. It's a kind of the brownie kind of. It's just got that everything about the shot in regards to keeping you in the frame and yeah. one your eye around it. Is that a bit of split tone, Steve? Yeah, I was going to say that. Um, you know what? I can't honestly I can't remember. And even though I've done it the other day, I can't remember. I wouldn't. I, if anything, I've sort of. Try to keep it a little bit overexposed. Yeah, to yeah. Keep it more yes. simple. Yeah. Um. So you know, I could have easily have brought out that sky a lot more, and and the, obviously there's woodland behind that, which I could yeah. have brought out. No, I think it but, works works great as it is. It yeah, yeah. Really it I, by keeping it overexposed, I've just tried. It it just it could have been a, a little bit too busy. Let's say. Yes. Um. So I've I've, I've tried to work with that fog rather than you know and and try and sort of da some areas and some areas do negative da's yeah, yeah. You know, all right that a little bit uh, as for um color grading to be honest with you i don't think i've really done a lot um because that sun's coming through from that side and as it's catching yeah. the, and the highlights the are so white the highlights are so white it doesn't look, certainly in the yeah. highlights there's nothing being done it's just yeah mm -hmm. yeah but it, there is, there is actually, I did actually try and bring the detail out on that mm. right hand side. It didn't work. 
So, so I brought it back down to almost blown out, but it is there is actually where well, you can just see it in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, but yeah, and then obviously you got on that left side and side, you've just got the blue sky sort of. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I mean, interesting straight away. You're looking, uh, at, you know, at the trees. You, you, you didn't. You just kind of just sort of don't look up to the sky at all, don't you? I don't know if you guys, but I, I just kind of looking at the trees and the. When yeah. you first see the image, you go straight to the center. That single yeah, exactly. one tree, yeah. that group to your right hand side, and then all of a sudden, your eyes start popping yeah. all over. You're looking for different bits and bats. Yeah, that, that single Which, lone tree. I've I've got another drone shot that that features in. And then I've got, I obviously walked up to that as well and got another shot, yeah. which is actually my favourite from there, um, which is just the lone tree with them, them five trees mm. um, just in the distance. But yeah, I think, you, I think you've shared top. that one, haven't you? Mm. I have shared it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And I've got them three on the wall and they all feature that one tree. Nice. Mm. Mm. Lovely. Thank you for sharing that one. Um, it's, it's a real keeper, that one, definitely for putting the wall. <laughs> it's a wall hanger, as I call it. Um, go to the, ne the next one, guys. Uh, just I don't want to take my eyes off this. All of it. <laughs> You're a talented man, Mister. I tell you, when it comes to your, it'll oh, soon God. sell you a print. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you can actually I'll plug on here if you want to. So, um, well, I'll tell you what I was going to say is, um, I'll, I will give a print away if you want to. Um, if someone wants to comment, whoever comments, I'll choose a comment and then I'll give a print away. All oh, right, guys, you heard that here that's first true. from Steve Stain. Yeah, you stayed it. Uh, thank you, Steve. Um, that's really generous of you. And guys, yeah, um, put a comment down and tell them what, why you love, what you like about the picture, why you like the picture, and put your details on it. And uh, yeah, and Steve, will have a look and make a decision. Yeah, I'll contact them and um, I'll send the print over. It's very, nice. very, very, very uh, self well, selfish. Not selfish. No, selfless. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You selfish man. I'll I'll just go with that. That's very generous of you, Steve. Well done. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We really appreciate that. Selfish Gentlemen, person. Forgive me. I'm just going to go and um, if I may, forgive me. Uh -huh. I'm just going to go and see to my dog, Alistair. Yeah. yeah. Sure. One yeah. minute. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, that old chestnut. Yeah, that old chestnut. Oh, yeah. the brew dog. The brew dog. dog. Yeah. Hey, well, I'm pointing the wrong direction here. It's that way. If they, if they want to sponsor, if they want to sponsor the channel, they can do. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I've got a packet of yep. malt teasers. You want to sponsor malt teasers? And, and if a singleton want to get in, in touch as well, just... <laughs> I've got an old i I've got an old GoPro uh, eight. If you want to sponsor that, <laughs> eBay, eBay, DJI, get in touch. All ah, right. Okay. All right, <laughs> all right, Doug. It's your turn. Come on. I have nothing. I'm lost. Yeah, you got. You got a Nikon I've got a Lego camera right here, right? Exactly. Nikon, seven, get in touch. Get seven artisans, <laughs> get, get, we'll it, get in touch. Yeah, we'll yeah. Give you five pounds if you got five hundred subscribers. Uh -huh. anyway, right, so let's get back to the uh, images. I'll wait till Louise gets back. Uh, of course, so yeah. Uh... What's that, Steve? I was just going to ask, uh, what do you think of the ah. the seven artisan lens? I like it. I like that one. That's the twelve, the twelve millimeter f two point eight. And yeah. the, I, that use up with the, Boy, the, the Nikon now, ZFC. Now. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking to the dog. dog on the Was that your husband? Yeah. So, so it it it's a good lens. It's got a little bit of little bit of distortion around the around the edges. Yeah. yeah. Crop in a little bit. Uh, but to be to be up, be perfectly honest, it's perfectly acceptable. Yeah. Mm. I like it. I'm learning not to go for the absolute perfection in in the, the images anymore because it's it's so difficult to do. So I think the trend's going that way though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. At one time the trend was it's got to be in shot well, perfect. Well, yeah. Well, for, for example, your image, right? That was taken with a digital camera, which is absolutely pin sharp. Everything's nice and crisp, and then you put in a little bit of haze and. Uh, yeah. Whatever to it, it just, just soften it. It's the they've lost yeah. the character, haven't they? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. You, you know that, you know, being in perfect. It's, it's like an, an old car's got character, isn't it? Because it's, it's yeah. got the depth there, it's got the little bit of rust there, and you know, but everything's so. That's a bit like so, our <laughs> <laughs> A bit of rust here and there. 
yeah. that's why that's why that's why you, you want one of these as well it's a, a, a real camera it's so i know you're nick you i can't get the camera right in this yeah yeah I some I an, old, an old an old film I nick on. Guys yeah. Before. yeah i i started that i started bad boy you want an old, an old, oh nice i, I had an, I had an old body grip as well too yeah I don't think film was a little bit before my time, to be honest. Oh, I'm <laughs> so with you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, start, my start, my first digital camera was um, oh, what, uh, Fuji bridge camera. Yeah, I think a three megapixel. I might have it. Yeah, I'll, I'll and, find uh, it for next time. I've still got a little that. a little little Fuji. No, it was a Casio. A little Casio was my first digital. Because I'd, I'd done a film and I had several film cameras. This is the the one here. That's that's the first camera I've ever had. So that's got no light meter or anything, and it. it's just it's just a, a manual camera. Yeah. And okay. I, I progressed through cameras that had light meters, then yeah. uh, autofocus. Uh, but I got totally fed up with the processing that you get from yeah. the local chemist or whatever, whoever you send it down to. Well, I was going to name names of the people, but yeah, there's uh, some of the big companies you could send them to, but in the nineties, yeah. mm -hmm. and it was just absolutely hopeless. And I ended up almost giving up with photography completely. And then in the early two thousands, someone introduced me to digital cameras, and uh, that was me. It was started yeah, off again. Back since, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, mean, a... I used to film as well. I used yeah. to shoot. Mine was well. a Practica. It had a light meter, yeah. but like the Practica, old yeah. level meters. Yeah, uh -huh. went backwards and forwards like this. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what oh, that, yeah. that that's what this one does. It's got yeah. it's got a light meter on the side. It, it goes it goes up and down like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as, <laughs> as, as as you adjust, obviously, it doesn't just sit and go up and down. That'd be that'd be hilarious. Get it when it's in the right position. Bang, got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll get yeah. to uh, Louise's images now, and this one's called Solitude. Right. Right. And I need you to tell us more. Oh, well, yeah, nice. And you couldn't get two more opposite images. You wanted to go local, so I cut it down to as the crow flies. I'm so sorry, it's worthy. We've got lots of lots of mm -hmm. lights going on there. Um, but you, uh, traffic lights, but this is literally 2.5 miles south, and it's it's just there. And it's not brilliant, but do you know what? It was the first kind of time out of lockdown um i think maybe the second or third lockdown i can't even remember if i'm honest with you but it was it was just coming jan end of january and it was we just hadn't been anywhere and just went down to the coast and thought i've just got to do something so this for me is not brilliant it is incredibly local though um and it was just really soft really soft light and i would never promote it except to say it was local and that was the criteria. Why, why not? It's lovely. It's a really nice it's picture. It's very minimalist. That's yeah, seen. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's sharp it's sharp as a tack. Mm -hmm. By the look of it. Yeah, yeah, it's really sharp, but then everything else is nice and nice and I was gonna say blurry, it's not, but it's nice soft, that's it. Nice and soft. Yeah, yeah it's it's just lovely. Yeah. And I was gonna say it's, it's very yeah. it's very Thomas Eaton esque, is this? Oh I'll take yeah. that. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> just nice and square. That's it. Yeah. Minimal yeah, is yeah. nice and square. I do like a one by one crop. I really do like yeah. one like that. And it's uh, the I love horizons. That's what I was trying to say. I just love the uh, anyone who gets like a, a perfect horizon to me is you know it's class. It's just to me I love it to get that straight horizon, middle of the shot, one by one crop it works well. I, I can see this getting stained. So you've seen <laughs> by taking the horizon out. Well, oh. If I if I were able to take the horizon out, I might have tried that, but I haven't. My, I'm just a bit rubbish at that. Do, do What's the in the picture? The, the images you share, it always brings back an emotion, a feeling of what you get at the time of yes. why you took it. Yeah, I think as well. Just just going back onto local and and COVID. It made us all shoot local, and yeah. I wouldn't be able. Yeah. I would. I don't. I wouldn't be shooting woodland now if I didn't have to shoot local because all yeah. I've got around is woodland. That's exactly the same. So, the same. And, and it's it's actually made me. It's made me a better photographer. There's no mm. doubt about yeah. it. And and it, it like tomorrow we're going. I've got to drive five minutes, and I, and I'm there. Literally five minutes. Well, guys, you I'd guys say. are making me jealous. Five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I, I, honestly, I've got, I've got, 
I've got nothing round by me. I'm I'm not I'm just so jealous of this these type of shots, the seaside and yeah. you know and and the mountains. Well, I, well, I haven't got an ill round. But actually, the ill round by us, um, it's actually a, a tip, and it's extremely <laughs> well known. And I've shot it, yeah. and, it and it's actually no, it's Mount Judd. It's it's famous in this area. But it's a tip. And I bet the, I bet the seagull is all over it. <laughs> but they all provoke emotion, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Certainly in them hard yeah. times. And, and uh, so, I, but I actually love this shot. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's a shadow coming down there. Well. Yeah. I was just trying to keep it as, as local as I could, because mm. Worthing well, is not. It, it, it's fine. It's not massively brilliant. We've got, but we've got, <laughs> we've got lovely kind of coast either side of it, but just not right where. Were and mm. I just thought I'll go for something a little bit different. But the next shot that Paul is about to put up, she says, mm. getting off this as fast as she can do. Is I right. commented on this image. Uh, well, this actually, week. you commented on one where I'd remove the swing. Right. When I put this out, yeah. Paul. I removed. Yeah. I, I the think swing. I think the swing. Oh, mix. Okay. The swing. Oh, I, like the mix. Swing. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And it, so this is the thirtieth of November, twenty twenty. I had quit my job due to the long COVID at the end of August and I'd been for a couple of job interviews and I, one I was blimmin' awful at. Uh, and I'd just been offered a job a couple of weeks beforehand and I was just waiting for my 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 DBS to come through so, to say I've worked with children again. And I was just getting highly frustrated. And as I drove into this particular area, this is the closest woodland to me. And it's the only, literally I have one shot, that's it, one. And, um, uh, I, I just drove into this area and all these photographers were leaving very dejected. And I grabbed my husband and just went, come on, we've got to keep going. And the, it, everything <laughs> went, the mist went. And then just as we were going back to the car, I thought, oh, stupid woman, why would you even do it till this late? So it was about two hours after sunrise. Um, and all of a sudden, this came through. And I mm. thought, ah, oh, I hadn't even got time to change lenses. So it was at a, a 70 to 200 on a 70 one shot done that was it and mm. you know when you walk away and you get that little buzz and you think i've only got mm. one shot and it's yeah. it's that you're buzzing your stomach and you think i can't wait to get home just look at that on the screen because either i'm going to be incredibly excited or incredibly yeah. disappointed it's yeah wonderful. it's um i mean um, you said that's... about you're not really keen on we well not keen on we like you say you're not, not really don't much yet but that is a stunner image to get that light um, Sorry, and go I on, took that out. On. I took that out, and I just, you know, when you, you go back after a couple of years, and you just think, I'm going to stick that back in. Mm. Yeah. No, to me, that yeah. that swing makes it. That is really is part of the image. It tells mm. a story about it. Yeah. 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 I don't think I, I don't think I got the story element a few years ago. Now I'm like, see... oh yeah, I've got it. I've got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you anyway. see the pattern there with the circle? Say again. Can you see a pattern there? It's like the uh, the, the branches meeting each other. It's almost yes. like a, a ring. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's kind of like saucery kind of thing. It's I like that. It's really what nice. I like about this as well, in the middle, just past the um, the, the swing, mm. you've got like a double exposure effect with them branches. Yeah, I think it's going yeah. Yeah. one behind the other, I think. But yeah, yeah. it's like a double explosion. It, isn't it? I've only just noticed that. Thanks, man. Yeah. It, it, that's, <laughs> like, that's, that's exactly what I was going to comment on, because you probably can see in one of my pictures coming up, I absolutely love that, that hazy layers yeah. that you get. And it's just stunning. I love it. Well, in this image yeah. as well, you could get easily three or four different compositions just by on the right hand side. You could have an eight by ten, a square crop in the middle. Left yeah. hand. It's yeah, it's, it really is a cracking image, is that? Thank you. Yeah, well done, Louise. That's a cracking image. And we have to ask, did you have a go on the swing? <laughs> have you seen on it, can you? <laughs> I would have done. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> it was, seat. <laughs> just on the end. It was just on the end, sort of caught on there. But uh, yeah, I think I'd have been on my butt very, very quickly. <laughs> the, the last yeah. time I went on a swing, I brought my collarbone. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, Christ. <laughs> so... I don't know if these guys see my video. Last time, time I went on a swing, I fell in a lock. <laughs> <laughs> last time I was on a swing was on my video, uh, one of my videos uh, on YouTube, mm -hmm. and I... Uh, I was just, I was in Christophe and Holland, there was a swing set up, and I thought, yeah, I'll just get on that and have a little play with it. So I recorded it. <laughs> <laughs> just for the fun of it, for the hell of it. But yeah, that's a cracking shot, I really love it. Uh, thank you. Um, that's definitely something I'd love to have as a screensaver. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, all right. You know what? 
Can I get your permission? Of course you can. Crack Yay! What, what's everybody yeah, got you. as a screensaver at the, moment, at the moment? What have I got as a screensaver? Picture yeah. of you, lovely. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 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 go yeah. to uh, Mr. One, two, three, click, and it's Dougie. Yay. There we go. And uh, yeah, it's not that one. one. We've done these ones, of course. Can't see it. Local, local. Yeah. Uh, come on and load up under the bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's, that's like this. Mm. It's uh, very rustic, as Alistair would put it. I do yeah. like that. See, yeah. I'm, I'm, but we're talking to Chris Sale last week, and he was saying mm -hmm. he likes of a man made object in his yeah. pictures. I'm that's right. Exactly the same, mm -hmm. you know. Like if you look at the pictures that I put up, there's always something man made in there, yeah. And in this case, it's this wee rustic kind of a uh, hut thing, which it actually sits under this is Al Almondell Country Park. Oh, which yeah, which is just the other side of Livingston from me, yeah. Um, and this sits underneath um, a big, an old railway viaduct that goes across the, the, the valley. It's a very, very deep kind of ravine. Mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. Um, I so when the viaduct was getting a bit dilapidated, they put that there just in case anything fell off it, so it's to protect is walkers. That what it was. <laughs> right. But yeah, um, that, 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 that's yeah, go, yeah. That, that's going to help uh, help you when a half a ton lump of stone falls. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> <That's all. laughs> we have we have repaired the viaduct since we left the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I love that tree, the ivy on the right hand side of the tree. Can you see the ivy yeah. on it? Yeah, and then yeah. also like the opposite, you've got the moss and everything. It just yeah. looks quite uh, unusual. I like it's that. Yeah, tiny bit of separation. Kind of tree, you know? Yeah. 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 How, how, much, how much shuffling did you do to get that branch just to curve over the the apex of the the roof mm. and, yeah, and yeah, run along run pretty, along yeah. the top? It's absolutely can, perfect. Yeah, you, you can tell you take your time. Particularly it. big amount of shuffling, to be honest. But uh, I just had to get it just as the main branch was over the roof, you know, and that was it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Because you yeah. can tell on the right hand side where that pillar of the viaduct comes up, you've got like the, the gap there and then the branch. It's yeah, it's very intricate, very nice. Yeah, yeah. well done, Doug. That's a good shot. It's, well, it's quite um, sad because they cut that tree down now, so you can't get that. Oh, oh Christ! Where you I don't go? know why people. I don't know why you do that. I mean, it's like it just so. To me, it's, it's, it's it puts character into the area having trees like that oh. lying about. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't yeah. know why people do that. I mean. I don't know. Councils, local councils, authorities, etc. Just bring them down for the sake of it. It's not yeah. even grown into the path or anything, you know. No, it's, it's, drawing, it's leaning away from the path, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Ah, but yeah, that, I mean, that no, branch. That branch. If it's in yeah. the right-hand side of the tree, it's kind of. It looks a bit diseased, so maybe. Yeah, just bit... yeah it looks like it's going to. It needs to be fell in regards to the bottom of it. If you look in the bottom yeah. right-hand side of the tree, yeah. you see the darkness of the. the it's like yeah. it's got an infection, the tree itself. If you look at the trunk, it makes the image more special as well. Now the tree's gone. Yeah. It does, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. That's a cracking shot, Doug. Thank you for sharing it as well. Um, go to the next one, and that is the Nice Nas is it Nasmith Bridge? Nice Bridge. Bridge. <laughs> yeah. And I'm from Scotland too. Christ. Uh, okay. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. A uh, lot of uh, movement in the water there. Uh, stones, mossy stones at the front. Yeah, where about is this, Doug? This is Almondale as well. In fact, it's mm -hmm. about maybe what, 500 yards down the river from that previous one. Right. Um, you. And uh, the, the bridge is... It was designed by a guy called Alexander Neesmith, who's a famous artist, basically. Ah, right. So that's a nice one, yeah. He painted yeah. that picture. You know, the, the, the one portrait of Robert Burns that you always see, it was him that painted it. So, oh, right. interesting. If you look at a lot of his landscape pictures, this bridge is in it, probably from this same angle, in fact. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I quite like this. Just that you get, it's a fairly common shot for people to take in West Lothian when they go down there because you can get right down. It's a lovely view up the river. You've got this tree kind of leaning over the top and framing the bridge, you know. You mm -hmm. can see why, though, can't you? It's a popular shot. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see that in the, the open time as well with the you know the tree on the right hand side there, what it looked like. You know, I've tried it in the autumn, but the leaves tend to obscure the um obscure the bridge. Oh, really? Right. Got to wait till the wind. Oh yeah, right, because it's just too uh, cause of dense it'll yeah. be like going over. Yeah. Yeah. The rocks are great, they're like you know, Peer. the light on the rocks. Yeah. A pair of yeah, you get you get one end of the bridge, but not the other, you know. Yeah. yeah. A pair of waders, Dougie, just move yourself 
further into the water. And oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it gets very deep, very quick. And you see it, but... A bit of fly fishing. Chest, <laughs> chest waders, then, yeah. yeah. I've got a pair. I can't remember the last time I uh, used them. This must be a few years back now. Louise uh, once had a pair, but they got burnt down, apparently. <laughs> I did. Think of it. <laughs> Nora. And our house insurance has gone up as a result, just to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh right uh yeah there's a great job. what i mean what i like about it as well when i think with the tree above the bridge the framing of it i mean you're always going to get straggly branches of course um you know that kind of composition mm. but you know the 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 notes in the tree you can see how it's kind of framing it in the way it's kind of up, taking your eye away from the sky too much away that's what i like about it Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh yeah, it's just perfectly just framed at the bottom. Low line shot. I gather it's pretty much a very low shot in the tripod. Very low shot, yes. Yeah. Um and, probably yeah. about as low as the tripod would go. Um yeah. Yeah, that's a nice shot. And thank the, you. The what the water is yellow because it's mucky, it's not because it's uh, yeah. Peat. The, the peat in it, yeah. Peat. Yeah, it's very, yeah, very yeah. peaty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've not done a bit of um anything I used to do down Dean uh, Village you probably know it Doug uh, Dean Village has got some cracking shots of like old rustic uh, bridges and houses etc and you know the water of leaf come through it so I might just go down sometime and do that as well yeah. and a Tesco sure. trolley probably sorry <laughs> and a, a Tesco trolley in there as well probably yeah, yeah you probably get that no name bro <laughs> hey hey go oh nice that's all right, isn't it? What? Yeah, that's good. So, that's really nice, nice I've, na I've named this one, I didn't name this one at the time. Mm -hmm. I've named this one End of an Era. And the reason being is this was taken in January 2020. Oh. Two, mon oh. two months later, yeah. life changed for everyone. Yeah. At that time, I was working mm -hmm. five days a week in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. I was doing lots of photography, even though... My ME keeps me down. I was getting out and doing a lot of photography. And if you look at my uh, my folders, you see for 20, 2019, lots and lots and lots of places visited. And then 2020 came along and it all changed. And of course, then started to pick up again in tw by about 2022 when I ended up getting COVID and then falling ill with a form of long COVID with ME, and it's not been the same since. So for yeah, me, yeah. this was like the end of an era. And this picture here is taken, uh, if you Scottish guys might know, the uh, the motorsports place, Knock Hill. So you've yeah, got Knock Hill to Pow Mill Road, and you've got the Pow mm -hmm. Mill Milk Bar. Mm -hmm. uh, as it does a bend round heading towards Pow Mill, this view can come into come into view for you and this was taken on uh 70 to 200 at 170 millimeters on nice. a tripod at 135 135th of a second f11 and it was taken shortly after sunset uh above the yellow because this is actually a crop it was really bright red and it looks wonderful but mm -hmm. you couldn't use the whole the whole image because you lose so much of what is there in front of you mm -hmm. which is the, the hills and that's the the national wallace monument poking up from the yes. hill yeah i'm going to ask you if that's the wallace monument it is yeah, yeah. so you've got the wallace monument there and to the left you will see two bright lights on the very yeah. far left hand yeah, side yeah. and then yeah. there's, there's a just you can see a hill rising from those lights and heading up yeah. a little bit and then there's a, just a little yellow patch and that's sterling castle right. sitting, yeah, sitting there so you can see everything so again, that's looking at over the basic the trussics again. So similar to yeah. the image I did from uh, the plane, but this was yeah. actually taken from the the roadside. I just uh, love the layers. The la the layers. Any any layer of image just gets me drawn in big time. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. 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 I I I love it. I think I said with the last one when I was at, when I was at high school doing uh, A level art. That was one of the things I did. I, I did uh, landscapes using sponges and things to get all the different mm. layers and it was just fantastic i love doing it so when i see it yeah. in real life i just love it i want yeah. to go to that place in china where the the, the limestone oh. hills are and the the river and yeah. oh i want to go there got to go there sometime yeah. but yeah that's that, that's that yeah For sure. i've seen a very similar view to that one up 
a one of the hills by Salon. Yeah, the Bandrum Hill, I think it's called something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you've got over on the one side on on the uh, left, you've got the camp seats, and on the right, you've got the Oakles. That's hills. the Oakles, yeah. So that, that's the. Yeah. That, that's and the... then you've got the the, the Wallace Monument smart bang in the middle. Yeah. I think it's, that's... it's a shot I've always wanted to take and never quite got there, but you beat me yeah. to it. Yeah. So that's that's uh, the the end of the Oakles of a Demiat Demiat yeah. uh, Hill, and as you see the camp seats on the other side. Yeah, it, it, I think it's Yeah, it's it. I I I love I love the scene. It's, it it could be better an image. It's actually the it, apart from cropping it, I've literally done. I've, I would say I haven't done and I've not done anything to it, but I've done very little to it. Mm. I overprocessed this the first time, thinking I was doing doing it good, and I look at it now. I just go, "What were you thinking?" And it just left the tones as they are, and mm -hmm. all it done is I've edited. There's a farmhouse in front of us. And between the trees, you see there's a, a tree to the left, a tree to the left. There's a gap in those trees. Yeah. Underneath that is a a, a white tarpaulin or whatever it is with tires oh, yeah. on it covering yeah. up hay. Mm -hmm. And I've had to take out all the white patches of white because it just looked horrible. It was like jumping out at you. So yeah. all I've done is just go yeah. in and uh, just cl clone those out. And that's literally all I've done. Yeah. And a couple, a, cu a couple of lights. That were distracting. Yeah, that, that bottom end as well, you could even just put a grad on and just darken it down a touch, but mm. I never even noticed did, that until you spied out. I did, I, did, I did actually a little bit because I, I actually raised the shadows a little bit yeah. uh, to, to get the landscape a bit better, uh, mm. but it brought out the grass too much. It's actually looking darker on the screen here than it is on my, my screen. Yeah. Right. And I, I, did, I did just put a grad, grad grey on that very bottom just to darken yeah. it. It's the monument. The monument drags you in. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, that, the, that's the image. Under, then all I'm doing is looking at the layers, then leading you off on the left hand side going out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I really like that one. Uh, and it's yeah. Sort of, so, um, is that a 16 so by 9 there. crop you got there? Is that, I, was that, it looks like a two or? by one to me, doesn't it? I, you, know two what, by one, yeah. you know what? All I did was uh, go freehand, drag it down. That looks yeah. okay. It's just just yeah. play about with it till it uh, feels comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And left it at yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's worth it's um it certainly draws you in as uh, Darren said in regards to the Wallace Mormon, you're just taking you right across the hills, etc. Um but it's, it's it's when you actually mention uh the Stirling Castle with the thing with the lights there. Yeah. Um that's what when people that's what I like about people when you tell a story about an image because you start to see what they're explaining. Um the layers as well with the hills and the oak hills, etc. in the background. It's just amazing, really nice, yeah. really nice shot. Well done. Uh, there's, there's a lot there's a lot in there that you, you only if you're local, you actually know what that's what's there. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I, I could name the the towns on the right hand side underneath the the Oakles there, but uh, I won't bother just mm -hmm. now. But yeah, but that's I think I love that shot. I'll let you take control there, Louise, if you wanted to get the I next will. Shot. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna edit this out as a ghost <laughs> option because this is because... this is great. Take a night off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go enjoy the beer. I think Louise yeah. has just volunteered for the next host. Mm. Right, if, if you ever do one with you, oh my God, that's nice. Hello. Um, how, I can see you can't. Oh, oh. But yeah. That, that, that's where this is. It's That's that perfect type of area. That The last last image was four miles away, and this is just under three miles. Mm. And it takes me about 10 minutes to drive there, or eight minutes in the dark. You work that one out. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, not like dark sky, uh, green lights. No, I don't yeah. believe it. <laughs> yeah, traffic uh, lights don't exist in the dark. No. <laughs> uh, what, what it is, you can go around the corners quicker because you know there's nobody coming because there's no lights showing, mm -hmm. so you can zoom along the country roads. because yeah. it's it's, yeah. it's 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 single track road virtually to get to there. So you drive What's up that? to the, the nearest, drive up from Oakley to Salon, right out the back of Salon, and it's. Uh, the road narrows down to almost single track, and this is just a little bit further along the road. Uh, I can give you the give the location at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, and I put this one in because yeah, you were asking for local images, and mm -hmm. this this was taken in October. Uh, obviously, mm -hmm. generally that's when these are out. And I was just recovering from another crash with my ME. I would managed to get the caravan away for the first for the only time last year was to up to up to Glencoe in September. And yeah. by the time I got back, I was I was exhausted and had a, a bit of a crash. And this was me getting out again. I walked with the dog. And... Nothing too serious, no? Sorry? Nothing too serious, the crash. 
No, it's cra crash, isn't it? It's ME, ME, crash. ME, ME crash. Sorry, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I thought you were in the vehicle, I was going to say that. Oh, no, 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 it's coming back, coming back from Glencoe with the caravan, had a massive crash. Yeah, no, 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 it's, it's, it's a, an ME crash. We just, uh, you could be, right. you could be, literally, you could be fine. This is actually what happened to me with the, when the, the COVID kicked in with my ME. I started to not feel very well in the morning. And I said to yeah. my manager, I'm just going to take the afternoon off because I'm not feeling too great. He said, yeah, yeah, no problem. Two months later, I made it back to work. It hit so hard, so fast. It 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 just wiped me out completely. So this was a a smaller crash. It was just a uh, about about a week to recover, <clears throat> and this is me getting getting back out, getting a walk, mm. Uh, mm. taking the dog out, and it's what you were saying, uh, Darren, about getting off the beaten track. Yeah. So this has got paths. This woodland's got paths going through it, and I've just started to to walk through the woodlands itself and get away from the tracks and my, my dog Duke, he absolutely loves it. He, he just piles through. <laughs> he just loves doing it. And I found these and uh, I spent too much time concentrating on getting the composition right with the, the fur and then the stick and whatever. Yeah. I didn't realize my horizon was out slightly. You see the trees in the background are all yeah. leaning over to one side yeah. and I can't adjust it because I'll lose the top of the fur. Yeah, top of the fur. Yeah. So I thought, no, just leave it. Leave it as it is. Uh, Have you tried this in a one by one crop? Yeah, that's a good point. I, I, I would lose the fly. Right. See the fly right. on the left under the leaf. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, right. Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. I see that now. Yeah. Yeah. And the, I, almost every image I'm taking of mushrooms and so forth is a spider or a fly or yeah. something in there because it's only when we get down close to the forest floor to actually see just how much wildlife in a way yeah. the, the, the critters that are in amongst that yeah it's, it, it's incredible yeah i got a yeah. macro lens last year and the same thing when you yeah. get close up the amount of detail you can see yeah like say little critters just crawling over a little leaf oh and yeah stuff. It's, yeah mm, it's fantastic so yeah. I, I i actually i like to, to find them in the image afterwards because i'll never have seen it when it was there mm. and yeah i'll try and make uh, make something of it if i spot something i'll try and make sure it's in focus yeah. Uh, but that, yeah, that that's there. But yeah, a, a, a one a one to one uh, crop would would actually yeah, work, lose it, work quite well. But you'd probably lose that. But uh, yeah. uh, see what I mean about the crop, and it would yeah. probably take away some of those trees, and you wouldn't notice yeah. it was at an angle. I just think though, because that fern, yeah. that I think that fern, that fern adds to the image definitely. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that, it, yeah. It, is. Yeah. it sort of brings you in, and then that, that yeah. little branch coming out as well. It just Absolutely. yeah. It's, yeah, it's it wasn't, it, it wasn't accidental, spot, definitely, for that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think if you if you cropped in from the right-hand side, uh -huh. um, because that, that that fern lean, leans over towards the left anyway, so if you, cropped, does, yeah. Yeah. If you wanted to get rid of the trees, I'm not saying do that, but if you, if you get, wanted to, if you cropped in from that right-hand side, it, I think it'd work anyway. Yeah, you'd mm -hmm. get rid of most yeah. of them, because the trees on the left-hand side are actually going straight up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes, they are, yeah. Yeah. More, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It might be yeah. a little, little bit of lens distortion. Yeah. Or something. But, but that um... that that one is the seven artisans twelve millimeter that we're showing you. Right. So that that is that end. That is that so image. You are pretty close lens. in there, then, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So so it might just be a, yeah. I, I, the other thing I was going to say is maybe just try and correct that distortion in in Lightroom yeah. or something like that. You'd I, you know, away. I hadn't thought about doing the that that uh, distortion fix. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I'm I, I'm quite happy with it as it is. But uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's lovely, yeah, yeah, the focus is. How, how tall were the mushrooms, Alistair? Just out of interest. Uh, they they were decent size. So probably a couple of inches. I think those yeah. ones. I'm trying to remember now. They were a reasonable size. Yeah, they weren't they weren't minuscule. You know, it's not ma macro photography. It's they're uh -huh. a decent decent mm -hmm. size. So that the head would probably be the probably be the top of my my glass. My, my most my whiskey glass. Oh, right. Sorry, right. sorry, sorry, it, sorry. Yeah. My 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 water glass. This is a freebie, <laughs> a freebie from work for a four hundredth anniversary. Is that that not... Dunphy Dunfermline water you've got there? Yeah. Well, this so is that... the oh, Dunfermline <laughs> water. Yeah. Then mushrooms are in your glass now. Then. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> ate, ate them late earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, they were decent. They were decent size. They weren't uh, minuscule. Actually, yeah. no. Actually, wait a minute. Were they? Because look at the clover that's like the, the the sorrel, I think it is. Mm -hmm. That's quite mm -hmm. decent size. It might have been smaller than I'm thinking. It's a good size, yeah, the clover, yeah. Yeah, actually, they, they are they are smaller than I was thinking. They're not the size of the, the glass at all. They're a bit smaller than I was thinking, yeah. 
Yeah. And I'm just in close with the lens. Yeah. I mean, you yeah, can cut, just he, he cut that rubbish energy. out. You cut that rubbish out about the glass now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely, it's, it's keep, definitely keep staying, him, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, in regards to the image itself, you mentioned there's a few things you we were talking about one by one crops and all, um, but you, your eyes are transfixed pretty much in the central image. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know vignette and even, but um, your vignette you can see the vignette the, the, you've it, used as well. It's it's there. Yeah, the vignette's there. Just you can see uh, that, yeah. I tried to be yeah, nice shot. I like the um, I like the character of the just the the, the little kind of twig sticking up at the top there, and the it's a little kind of magical land itself, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's nice, nice shot. Um, I, think, I think I'll be doing more of that uh, oh, this, yeah, okay. this 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 coming year. I want to do more forest floor type mm -hmm. photography. Yeah, uh, there's the... a guy. Um, I don't know if you watched the clipcast. We had a guy called uh, Wee Mad Beastie. Have you heard of him? All oh, right, no, no. Oh, it's called Wee Mad Beastie. Uh, uh -huh. He's from Glasgow, and uh, he's he's been on Disney and everything. He's he's, oh, he's right. quite famous now, and he's just a down to earth guy. He's went out with a camera. Um, I don't know what you call it—the shade you put over your flash. You know the yeah, I know user it. thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he goes out and takes pictures of insects, but he goes into the forest floor, and what he does, he, he creates little worlds with like that what you're looking at, and he tries to make it into like a story where, looking at it, he's like you're playing a video game of a, like um, something like Elite Dangerous or something, is the best way I can put it. And you mm -hmm. see these little critters walking about, etc. It's really quite cool. If you look him up, called, um, sorry, yeah. Mad, Mad Beastie. Yeah. Mad, Mad Beasties. Yeah. Mad Beasties, yeah. I think it is. You know, I, I think I've seen him. Does he use that as, like lights as well to kind of illuminate the mushrooms? Yeah, he does. He, yeah. Did, he, did, he, did, he was on TV uh, gonna... on kids' television, and kids would ask him questions about uh, insects, etc. We had him on on Clickcast, and uh, yeah, we, we put some of his images up, and the really stunning work he does. Mm -hmm. But he goes he goes out to Singapore and he goes out to places, hot countries, etc., to right. take pictures. So he's not just in Scotland; he goes everywhere. Um, yeah. But for where he started from, he's quite a humble man, you know. He just um, like just you and I talking, you wouldn't think he's uh, been a lot of things. Now he's in the media in regards to television. But he's just like one of us, just a down to earth guy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Um, I like that. So macro, yeah, is, is do you class macro as landscape? I still yeah. say it because it's not yeah, it nature. Is, it, 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 it's all part of the landscape, isn't it? It is. It course, is the landscape. Yeah. I mean, it, well, the, one, the reason they picked that one, the reason they picked that one, is because there's so much landscape in there. There's so many other trees in that that view. It's, it's, oh yeah, it's, definitely. It's, it's, it's placing intimate. it. Yeah, intimate landscape, isn't it? That's what we best we put. Yeah. But yeah, so look them up, guys. Uh, we'll try to get one on the show at some point. Yeah, I class uh, macro well, especially the woodland macro as a landscape within the landscape. Yeah. Because when you're yeah, getting exactly. close, you're still using that landscape effect, trying to separate little twigs and all sorts. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Something I've kind of um, I respect is people who do macro because it's quite a hard niche photography to do. Um, you know, it's it's more about you know trying to keep. Um, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of book involved and in trying to bring up the subject more, but there's also a lot of patience to wait for insects to come out and you know you can't just uh, point and shoot and just take a shot or set up your, your tripod and you know frame up your image maybe this this could be our next um uh theme yeah mm. macro good call yeah good call we could do that thank for the group yeah <laughs> thank you so very much <laughs> i i am i don't have anything really i mean i think i've got a couple of macro shots but put I, it one way louise your husband will be looking a bit daft at you when you come back with muddy knees. <laughs> naughty. Very naughty. <laughs> okay, on that subject, guys, we'll move to the next stage. Um, Louise has got the control of the screen. Oh, crikey. It's all um, yours. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, chaps, chaps, chaps. I'm giving up control now. Um, forgive me, I need to go in a, in a while. Paul, get your shots up, man. Get your shots up, please. I, you know what? I've not got them. I forgot about them. I do it all the time. <sighs> put them up. No. Yeah, I'll find something. Um, yeah, guys, just ask questions. I, you're, I'm the, the guest in this case. So, so how how long away is this image then? <laughs> how far away from? Um, it's <laughs> right. It's, it's in Edinburgh, but it's thirty minutes. minutes. <laughs> it's it's thirty minutes right. inside Edinburgh. 
it, 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 you can't that's... really judge it. Well, you can't judge it by the how long it's, it t- takes to get there. No, it's it's still it. local. Trying to get out of Edinburgh is an absolute it's, nightmare. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for that, Alistair. <laughs> because oh. the traffic. I mean, you must see thirty minutes is only because of the traffic, not to do yeah. the. You could yeah. probably get up there within it's, it's, minutes. It's, it's, just, it's just on the outskirts of Edinburgh. It's within the green belt between Edinburgh and South Queen's Ferry. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely area. And yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's local to him, definitely. Uh, yeah. How, how and, long did um, it take you to work on that composition to get the, get the separation um, between the well, branches? I know that place very well. I've been kind of going back and forth here since March. And I've made that clear in my videos that um, I tend to shoot a place to death and try to get as, squeeze it from us again. Like you've got a sponge and you're squeezing as much as mm. possible you can get from it. So I was training myself, training my eye to see its kind of size up compositions, etc. And this was a morning, it was misty, and I was just starting work and I was uh, working from home. And I thought to myself, because I'm working from home, I can get out in the mist and I can shoot uh, some trees. So I headed up to Kurt Liston and this little lay by, um, just walked this massive hill. You go up this hill and it's all muddy and I was kind of slipping about the place, but I eventually got there. And I was absolutely covered in mud. But anyway, it was worth it because um, some of the images are really nice. Um, post-processing, uh, something I need to work on a little bit. But uh, the composition is bang on in regards to the the gnarly oak tree there, which is on kind mm-hmm. of the branches are gone from left to right. And, uh, of course, the, the interesting the part third, of this. Really. Sorry? More or less on the, the third as well. You've got your, your yeah, feet exactly. Feet it's kind of, third. yeah. And then if you look in the, the not too far distance, you see these trees in the back there and the, the, the yeah. line of the dead uh, sort of woods, felling trees and so forth. Um, the colour of the glass, the colour of the grass, sorry, it kind of adds to it as well because I like the colour of the grass. That's kind of, it was pretty much about sort of, yeah. I think it was October, November. Yeah. Month, or no, it wasn't, all, it was end, August. End it was August. Was it August? Yeah, it was August, yeah. Yeah. So the, the grass has been burnt with the heat instead of dying off, yeah. Mm, that's it's, right, yeah. It gets it's so hot in this part of the world. The only criticism I've got from that image is on the left-hand side, you can see it almost looks like a path. It's not. It's actually just the colour of the grass, but it looks like a man-made path on the yeah. left-hand side. And that distracts me. Now, and also, the sort of ruined tree in the background there that's kind of felling, um, that looks to me a bit distracting as well. But... I think the that frame adds, itself, that adds, that adds, really yeah, that, that adds to it for me, does that? Sorry, you think so? That, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, I it's that. Yeah, it gives but... you a bit more of a, what's around that area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an area that's populated by birch trees predominantly. Um, I mean, that's the only a section of it has got like some oak trees there, and you can see pretty much in the center of the frame a beech tree, which is got a young one. You can see it in the right in the center, mm-hmm. which I'll yeah. just add the mouse yeah. over here, and it's there. So, yeah, so everywhere you go there, it's all birch trees. So if you're looking to get, like, a uniform shot with all birch trees, it's a perfect place to go to mm. uh, with, you know, interesting characters in front of it, different trees, etc. Um, yeah, uh, so that's the story of that shot. What's I'll that one just one. off centre to the left? The what's the one on the left-hand side? Yeah, just That'll off, just off centre to the left. This one here? No, a bit further over. This one here? Just, just cent- centre left. Centre right. left. Yeah, yeah, just just keep coming, uh, keep going, keep coming with your cursor to your right. To right, yeah. This yeah, one, yeah. That one there, yeah. This one, no, the one next to it on the left. That's it, yeah. There. I would no idea. Um, uh, that's a good point. Um, vault fill an investigation. Uh, yeah, it could be anything. Could it? I mean, in regards to the um, the mist was quite strong that, that that day. I think the only criticism I got maybe is the highlights are a bit blown out. Did you see there? Because it's not giving you any details of that. That should really be a bit more no, clearer. That's... No, that's so to, to me, that's what it's not the focus. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what's yeah. Well, the, the two kinds. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what's made me ask the question: What is it? And to yeah, me, you if, can't if, see you are, it. if you're um, asking some in a woodland, if you're asking what's that, it's a, it's that's a, that's drawing you in. It's a trifid. Yeah. I was going to say, I guess it's a trifid. Yeah, it is. I have no idea what type of tree that is. It looks white in the case because it's all white anyway. Yeah, you yeah. can tell if it is. Uh, a oak tree or ash tree over but yeah i mean the trees the, the the forest that forest there is all predominantly birch and a couple of oaks and a couple of chestnut trees in there uh so I, probably I, I guess because, you, because you don't know what it is if you like it mm-hmm. actually adds interest yeah exactly yeah it's, and it's yeah. causing conversation you know mm-hmm. it, it's uh, and i think you brought some up right at the beginning there where you said it was you, you were working from home you've seen the mist you know your local area, you know where to go, 
and you can get a, an image that is is actually it's a super super image. Um, Thank you. Just because you know, you know the area, so that it's a it's a big lesson learned, I think, to to actually to get and shoot your own area. Yeah, that's for that reason alone. The, yeah, the only exactly. thing I would exactly. do, uh, if if it, if it were my image, and I I think I agree with you on that left hand side where I actually thought it was a, a footpath, and I would just crop that a little bit out. I would literally just crop it out. That's the only yeah. thing I would yeah. do. And remove that one blade of dead grass. That's yeah, it. On the left hand, yeah, yeah on the left hand side. And I'd only remove that blade of grass because I'm cropping it in that little bit, or at least try and see if that worked. Because it, it it's the only thing that's sort of distracting my eye in the image. Everything I think it's a super shot. Thank you, thank you. We're, we're back on screen again. I think. So uh, thanks again for watching another Landscape Lenscast podcast, guys. Hope you enjoyed the images tonight as much as we have. And we'll see you in the next one. Uh, of course, next week we've got uh, Mads uh, Peter Everson, and he'll be on the show uh, being interviewed. So it's a big name, and I'm sure you'll be tuning on to watch that, hopefully. Uh, remember what Steve said about his image in regards to the print. Leave a comment below. Tell him why you like the image. And tell you what you think, what you feel grabs your attention. And Steve will have a look at the comment and he'll choose the best one, best comment. So, guys, thanks again for watching. Enjoy your photography this week. It's like we all enjoy our photography. Uh, we are off to the pub right now and have a good laugh about life. Thanks again. Cheerio, bye. <laughs>